The bars can have three separate colours and you can change what these are using the bar tool. At the moment only one colour is specified. We will change the bottom half of the bar to a colour that indicates the order number. You can save and compare alternative schedules. First we will save the current schedule. We already have some saved schedules so we can just overwrite this. We will now do a what if. We want to see the impact of making the priority of order A014 higher. Change the priority to 1, then reschedule to see the impact. Order A014 has been scheduled earlier and is no longer late. However, what has been the impact on the other orders? We can compare the new schedule with the other one we saved using the order trace chart. This is another type of Gantt chart except we have order number on the vertical axis. We can see the timing of the operations for an order and the gaps between them. To compare this with the previous schedule we need to select the list of schedules we have saved. We saved the previous one as forward by priority, let's see the difference. There are now two lines of bars for each order. The bars in the white area belong to the first schedule, where A014 had a low priority, and those in the green shaded area the comparative schedule, where A014 had a high priority. An alternative view is what is called a normalised. This is when the bars are positioned relative to the due date of the order. Now the top axis is shown in days. This is the number of days, early or late, that an order will be in the schedule chosen. So here we can see that A014 is no longer late when the priority is increased and does not make any other order late. There are also a range of schedule analysis reports that provide additional ways of comparing alternative schedules. You can add calendar changes interactively. For example, we will now add a breakdown for the lathe so we can see the impact on the schedule. Right click on the resource affected by the breakdown. We will select breakdown from the list then enter the time when we expect the lathe to be available again. Here we will enter that the lathe will be ready again to work a day from now. The breakdown period is displayed as a red crosshatch bar and the operations affected by the breakdown are moved later in time. If you highlight the first order on the lathe to be affected, you will see that the second operation is now out of sequence.
Preactor can automatically move the out of sequence operations using the schedule repair option. When Preactor repairs the schedule, it will automatically reapply the business rules and constraints defined in our model. Operations are now in the correct sequence. Preactor has the capability to add an order inquiry to find out when we can deliver an order. We will add an inquiry for 10 gears. The delivery date for this inquiry is shown. We also have the option to change the inquiry. For example, we could find out if we could offer an earlier delivery date for a smaller batch size. Let us find out when we could deliver 5. It's much earlier because we can fit in some of the operations between other batches without affecting their deliveries. An even earlier delivery could be obtained by having a batch size of 3. We will now look at how changing the priority of this inquiry would affect the delivery. We will open the editor window to access the inquiry order. Change the priority to 1 and then reschedule. The order can now be delivered earlier. Preactor has a number of built-in reports that are used to print schedule-related data for the schedule to be implemented. For example, there is a work-to or dispatch list for each resource that provides the sequence of jobs loaded and the expected start and end time. There is also a root card for each order which defines for each process step the resource selected, the start and end time. There are also a wide range of reports for schedule analysis. This report compares two save schedule alternatives and compares the due date performance. Green indicates the order is ready early, yellow within the buffer time to due date, and red past due date. This bar chart shows an overview of the number of orders early at risk and late. The histogram shows the make span for each order and how that time is broken down into processing, setup, waiting and off shift time. You can also break this order by order in the form of a pie chart. This has shown just a few features of Preactor in a make to order machine shop. We have other demonstrations that show Preactor being used in other environments and with order, bomb and routing information coming from an ERP system.